Welcome back to the vlog. Can you guess what's here? I'm just like, I'm not even, not even a, not even a, <laughs> it's finally here. Uh, my Canon AE-1 finally, finally showed up in the mail today. Oh my gosh, you have no idea how excited I am that this thing is finally here. I've been wanting to shoot on this for almost a month that I've been waiting for this camera to get here. And uh, for those of you who don't know, this is a Canon AE-1 program. It's a 35 millimeter film camera. Oh, it's pretty. Oh, I'm excited. I've been wanting to shoot on one of these for a while now. We've done a lot of stuff on Polaroids on this channel. Picked up an old Minolta, but the Minolta was just not gonna work. Um, and we got a couple other, this is the old Minolta. Look at how similar these two cameras look. Side by side comparison, like those look near identical. And I think this was just the style that every camera had back in the, like this one, this Minolta, I've said before, this is iconically the worst camera that Minolta ever put out, the XG1. It feels like it's heavy, but it feels cheap. This thing, the Canon AE-1 program, this is a chunky guy, like holy smokes. This feels hefty and it feels solid. And even better than that, it works! <laughs> Look at that! Ooh. Like that, so cool. So, I don't actually have any film in here yet, but uh, I got it out of the box and dusted it all off, made sure that everything was working. And so far, everything is working. Fingers crossed, knock on wood. Everything keeps working on the camera. Got the battery installed. All the little things do what they're supposed to, which is awesome. So, we're gonna load some film into this camera really, really quickly. I do wanna be shooting on Kodak Portrait 400, because this film, uh, I know gives the look that I want for the pictures that I want to be shooting, but just in case this camera doesn't work, in case there's like some light leaks somewhere or anything like that, I bought a cheap roll of black and white film for like $7 instead of $17 a roll. We're going to throw this in here and we're going to use that for the first little bit just to make sure that everything's working. So I'm going to switch to a top down look. And I'm going to show you guys how to install film in your film camera, in your 35mm film camera. If you have an AE-1 program exactly, well then this is the video for you. If not, it's kind of the same for most 35mm film cameras. But anyways, let's go. So this is the Canon AE-1 program. And this is, like I said, the camera that I've been waiting for for a while. And now we're going to go ahead we're gonna load that film into this camera so that we can go start shooting later on today. This is the film rewind lever and it's also going to release the film door right here. So we pop that up, this door flips open now and we can see in here that this is where our film's going to go. Film canister is gonna sit here, it's gonna stretch across right here and then it's going to be taken up on this side as it advances the frames across. And now you're going to insert your film canister just like this into your camera and take the rewind lever, push that in so it's seated all the way back down like it was before. And now what we're gonna do is we're going to take this tag end, we're gonna pull it across carefully here and put it into the little slots on this side right here. Now we can start advancing it like so. Now you wanna make sure that there's no slack where this this part right here, this is just kind of like the tag end of the film. There's no actual frames here being exposed yet. But see how there's actually a little bit of slack on the film right there? You don't want that, you want it to be somewhat taut. So I'm actually going to flip this film lever up and just rewind it just a touch. Close that off. And we can see as I turn it, or as I advance to the next frame, this rewind lever is spinning. And now, and we can start shooting. So I also, uh, I wanted to run through very quickly with this camera, kind of some of the features of it, just kind of how the whole thing works, because I think there might be some people who are interested to know uh, a little bit about all the different settings, what all the little knickknacks and doohickeys on here do. So let's do a top down really quick. Let's take a look what all the different buttons and levers and pulleys and knickknacks do because this thing is pretty cool and I think you're gonna enjoy it. 
So now that we've got the film installed, let's take a look at all of the different buttons and switches and levers that you're going to find on your Canon AE-1 program should you pick one up. Now, we're gonna work probably from the top of the camera first, just because this is where most of the components are when you're looking at this camera. Now up on top, you got a couple of different things. This one right here, this is your film advance lever. So as you push this forward, it's advancing your film across the back plate of the camera, moving it over to the next slide so that you can take a new picture. Once you've got that advanced all the way forward, you got your settings all done, this button right here, that's your shutter. That's allowing you to take the image. And this little switch right here, we have the L, which is for lock, S, which is for self timer, and A, um, which I don't know why A, A is on. A means on, automatic, I don't really know. L is lock, S is self timer, A just means that everything is working. If anybody knows in the comments down below what the uh, A actually stands for, if you could tell me, that'd be great. Up here, like I said before, this is your frame counter. It's telling you what picture you're on. So judging by the roll of film that you're shooting on, it's telling you how many exposures you have left. So this one, we're shooting 24 exposures and we are on frame one right here. Now this big dial right here, this is your shutter speed. So one thousandth of a second, all the way down to a fifteenth, an eighth, a quarter, half a second, one second, two seconds, and bulb. Bulb is the shutter stays open for as long as you have the shutter depressed. This is your film rewind lever, or if you pull it up, it becomes your film door opener. It pops the film door open. And right here underneath it, you see a couple of numbers here in this little dial. This is your ISO setting. And right now we have it set on 400 because our film is 400 ISO. And this little button just releases the lever so that you're able to change that. And there's one other little button up here. And this is the battery test button. And if you press and hold, we hear it beeping saying that the battery is good. If it has more than six beeps per second when you press this button, your battery's good. If it's three or less per second, you should probably replace your battery pretty soon. On the back of the camera, there's nothing fancy. You have your viewfinder and your little holder for your tab of your film box so that you know what you're shooting on and you don't forget. If we look on the bottom of the camera, there's not a ton down here. You have your tripod mount right here. This is your rewind button. When you're done with shooting your roll of film, you press that to be able to rewind the film back into the canister before you take it out. And then this little slot right here and these electrodes is actually so that you can attach an automatic film winder. You would open this up and it's a separate component, kind of looks like an external battery grip on newer cameras. And you plug that in there and it will automatically advance the film for you um, so that you're not having to use the film advance lever. If we're looking on the front view of the camera here, again, we have our 50 mil 1.4 lens. And over here, this is the battery compartment. If you were to flip this up, there's a little six volt battery in there that's powering the camera. And then on this side right here, this is actually to gauge your exposure without taking the picture. So what it's doing, on newer cameras now, it's showing you in real time on your LCD display what the changes that you're making are going to look like in the final image. Now obviously you can't get that looking through the viewfinder of the camera. So this is to help you figure out what your exposure is gonna look like and figure out what your depth of field is going to look like. So if I actually stop this camera down to say F22, um, which is going to be the most closed off, and we look in the lens right here while I press this button. Watch what happens inside the lens. Can you see that right there? I'll open it up again. Let's change it so that it's a little bit different. See right there, you can see all the blades of the aperture opening and closing. So that's actually closing it all off. I can see exactly how much light's gonna be coming through, and I can see what the depth of field is gonna look like. So that's a really cool feature on an old camera like this. It's allowing you to get pretty much a real-time view of how your picture is going to turn out without having to take the shot and wasting frames. And then the last couple buttons that you're going to have up on the front here, again, this one right here, this is your auto exposure lock. So when you're putting it all into its automatic modes, that's going to be controlling your exposure for you more properly. 
And then this little cover right here is actually covering a port where you would plug in an external flash system. You'd mount it to your hot shoe right here and plug it in right there and it's gonna sync the flash up perfectly to the shutter on the camera. Now the program mode is a really cool thing with the Canon AE-1 and the AE-1 program. What this does, when you turn this to program, it's essentially making this an automatic camera, but there's two parts that you need to do. You need to set this to program, and then on the lens right here, we see this other A over here. Now, this right here, this is your f-stops. This one goes down to 1.4 and all the way up to 22, and A is going to be automatic. So if I press this little button and I turn it all the way over to A right here, now that's locked on A, automatic, f-stops it's going to automatically be doing the aperture value down here by doing this this camera has now essentially just become an automatic camera that we don't actually have to worry about anything this really now just became a point and shoot on an automatic settings so you don't have to worry about getting anything wrong it's doing it all for you if you want to go one step farther the reason this is called an ae it's auto exposure so if i actually take this back off this setting right here and now there's a little button right down here if you can see it this is the auto exposure lock so if i press this button in as we're turning this button over to automatic now we have our auto exposure settings locked in so now it is truly an automatic camera this camera is going to take the light sensitivity that it's seeing through the lens it's going to automatically expose for it it's going to automatically do your aperture and it's going to automatically do your shutter speed for you so that you don't have to worry about a thing except framing your subject and pressing down on the shutter button so those are all of the fun little features behind the Canon AE-1 program. All the little knickknacks and doohickeys and all those fun things. And I really wanted to go and shoot on this camera this evening, but it's quite dark outside. It's uh, actually, well, it's 8.30 at night and it is minus 12. Gosh, I think it's minus 20. Currently minus 15, feels like minus 23. And uh, I don't know about you, but I don't really feel like hiking around downtown Summerland in what feels like minus 23 to get a picture that uh, might not turn out because it's so dark. So we will be taking pictures on this camera in tomorrow's vlog. So please make sure that you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't already and come back tomorrow so you can see what it's like taking pictures on this thing out in the wild. We're going to be heading up to Kelowna, going to BNA Brewing Company for my friend Mitch's birthday, and in that case, we will be taking some pictures on this camera in such a cool place. I hope you liked this video. I hope you enjoyed learning more um, about the Canon AE-1 program, and I hope it's something that you might be interested in. Let me know down in the comments below what are your thoughts on film photography? I've asked this before if people are interested in shooting on film again or if they think film's dead. Personally, I don't think film's dead. Film's coming back with a resurgence and I'm really excited for it. I'm really excited to shoot on it and kind of get to know it a little bit more. So tell me your thoughts down in the comments below. So thanks so much for watching. Make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. We'll see you guys tomorrow in the next vlog where we are actually shooting on the Canon AE-1 program and i'm excited expect more film photography videos coming up in the near future on the canon polaroids all sorts of fun stuff it's gonna be great and i'm looking forward to it see you guys tomorrow in the next vlog for most 35 film it's kind of the same for most 35 millimeter film cameras that's a weird looking angle you see me hello